半分こなダッシュ Hey everyone Welcome back Today I'm going to be talking about 5 facts about Kizo Arashi You can also check out the duo to this video 5 facts about Mikasa Link in the Description Let's get right to it 1. Benkei's Tattoos From what was revealed, he appears to have curved strike tattoos on both sides of his chest. And it goes down to his elbows. From the side, view of the tattoo. It shows a bull, probably a fighting bull, with ring on its nose and horns on its head. We can also see the tomo on the forehead. Tamo is a comma-like swirl symbol, just like the logo of the Sharinga in Naruto. The bull signifies solar energies, determination, strength, and masculinity or manly character. It was also revealed that the bull was the logo for the west side of Kanto, Ragnarok. The part that was formerly ruled by Benkei has the logo of the bull. So, it is safe to assume that Benkei got the tattoo inspiration from this. Or the logo was made based on Benkei's tattoos. The bull also stand as a symbol of stubbornness, ferocity, tyranny, and brutality. Two. Kizo Arashi is the first dark-skinned character in the manga. Since it hasn't been revealed, we can verify if he is naturally dark-skinned or just has a tan skin. Which is the darkening of the skin resulting from exposure to sunlight. He rocks a white crew cut with full beard, which is possibly dyed. Because in his younger days, he had a black hair. Three. Kizo Arashi's nickname, Benkei may be related to the Japanese historical warrior Saito. Yusushibo Benkei. who was a Japanese warrior monk, known for his strength and reputation. He has a big stature like Kizo, even bigger, and couldn't be defeated in close combat. He was killed by arrows and died standing. This is known as the standing death of Benkei. This may be related to Kizo's strength and huge stature. His other nickname Red Cliff may also be related to history.
The battle that took place in ancient China, where a smaller army defeated a much larger army. This may be reference to how Kizo Arashi became the president of Ragnarok by soloing all the gangs. Kizo Arashi fighting style is straightforward. Unlike his partner, Wakasa, who uses flashy acrobatic and flexibility skills. Benkei uses his fists and huge build to his advantage. In Bruder Raw Strength B Benkei is one of the strongest in Tokyo Revengers. Which makes him a beast in close combat. Apart from that, we also see him blocking Toronto. South's punch. Which shows how experienced he is in close combat or fist fighting. Benkei knows he is strong, and he is pretty confident in his strength. So he holds back or reduce the power he uses. Possibly to enjoy the fight, cause only few people can match his strength. This fact was revealed when he pulls his Brahmin uniform, revealing his bull, tattoo and tank top, to fight Toronto South. He also said he wanted to save some energy for when they reached Mikey, which shows he was holding back from the beginning. 5. Benkei and Wakasa were the ultimate or the greatest duo. They are like a spear and shield. Wakasa represents the spear, he attacks with his acrobatic skills while Benkei defends any upcoming attack. Before this, Benkei fought alone when he ruled and controlled Ragnarok, where he was greatly feared and given the name Red Cliff. He rivaled Wakasa's Gankado Rengo. Then he was brought by Shinichiro Seino, and they formed the Black Dragon Gang alongside Takomi and Wakasa. Benkei was made the Black Dragon Guard Unit Captain. And currently, he is one of Brahmin's executive. Which shows how far he has come in terms of being a leader and gaining experience. Plus, in the future or the present, he should be around 37 years old.